Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, in the previous blog, I promised I'd take this brand spanking new Fluke 28 Series 2 multimeter and beat the hell out of it. That's exactly what I plan to do. Let's have some fun. <laughs> it's 106 miles to Katoomba. We've got a full tank of gas, half a pack of lollies. It's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. We're about to go canyon in, haven't even started yet, but ah, what the hell. We're going to jump in the canyon at the top, follow it through and abseil the waterfalls and see if it survives. To the canyon we go! Excellent specs, really. Awesome specs. I survived one hell of a trip. 
droplets at home. Well, we're back. We survived the canyoning trip and so did the 28 too. It's got a few uh, bumps and scratches on it from where it was pulled over the rock, but check it out. It still works. It, um, it's beeping because it thinks there's, there's probably water in the input jacks. It thinks that the lead's plugged in the wrong one, but let's check it out, see if it's still within spec. It reads 1K, spot on, which means that it's still within spec. Beauty. I think we've got some, uh, still got some water here. We're back in the lab and yeah, it's a bit dodgy. So we're going to take it apart and see if any water got in. And see if there's any, whoop, any water in there. No, check it out. None. There's a few little drops down around here, but it's really, it's no big deal at all. There's no penetration of water into the, uh, into the battery compartment. Nice. Let's open the case and see what's inside, if there's any physical damage or water. There was nothing at all. Not a thing. Dry as a bone. Absolutely dry as a bone. And there's no damage to the thick film resistor networks under there as I discussed in the blog. And everything looks hunky-dory. It survived a complete trip through a canyon. Well, it's supposed to have an operational range down to minus 15 degrees and minus 40 for 20 minutes. Well, I don't have a thermal oven available to actually do that, but next best thing, chuck it in the freezer. Let's check out how it survived. Well, there it is. Minus two degrees. Now, whoa, it's all frosted over. If we hit the min max, max was 28.7 and min is minus 6.3 in the freezer. There you go. Cool. Survive. No problem at all. Okay, let's try a couple of one meter drops, shall we? This is about a meter, roughly. Woo! It bounces. <laughs> Maybe can do 88. Let's go check it out. It's still working, but the battery cover broke off. There it is. Oh man, not the battery cover, the tilting bail. Ta da! Oh, smashed it. Smashed the LCD. Unfortunately, flat on its face. That's the end of it. But I have no doubt if that landed on its end, it probably would have survived. Beauty. We just dropped it from 10 or 12 meters, and, and we're not sure we have to review the footage if it landed flat on its face. We think it actually landed on the edge, 
because there's actually a pinch mark um, right on the top edge of the thing. I'm not sure. But the amazing thing is, after taking it through the canyon, taking it, dropping it in the garage from one meter, three meters, dropping it six meters in the car park, and then dropping it 12 meters, the case is not cracked. It's still as solid as ever. But listen to this. So we're not sure if that's a glass from the LCD or not, but you would certainly expect the LCD to smash. I expected it to smash at six meters, but it didn't. It survived. But 12 meters, it just it just went. Check it out. And whoop! So hey, we lost. Check it out. One of the inductors sheared off. There it is. We've sheared off the sheared off the inductor. I think from memory that was from the DC to DC converter for the battery. The thick film resistor networks I thought would smash didn't, but check out these protection devices. They've just <laughs> bent right over. They've just but they haven't sheared off. They're still they're still attached. They're still working, but there's the inductor. The inductor's gone ski. So actually it hasn't sheared off the board. So it's no problem. It's not a problem with the actual board. I could solder a new inductor on there. Apart from that uh, it looks, it looks pretty clean. It looks pretty good. Awesome. I can't believe it. That was from 12 meters. But the top actual, um, the top polycarbonate protective cover hasn't smashed. I mean, I could, this has still got the protective film on it. I could peel that off and that top cover would be as good as new. You can see there's a couple of scratch marks. There's a couple of scuff marks up here where it's, where it's impacted, um, various things. Some of these were done in the canyon. This morning some of the silk screens worn off, but the case has not cracked at all. After that big 12 meter drop, I put a new LCD in it and I replaced the inductor and what do you know? It works! Well, I was very disappointed that the case didn't crack from a 12 meter drop. I think it's time to ramp it up. Well, we couldn't kill the sucker at 12 meters, so it's time to ramp it up. <laughs> Well, I'm at the top of the dam and about to drop this sucker. I reckon we're going to crack the case. I hope. Well, this is one hell of a big drop. Let's give it a go. And here's the meter. It looks in one piece because it didn't, it didn't hit concrete. It didn't hit concrete at all. It landed landed in the mud and the dirt and the case is still intact let's go do it again all right I'm ready to drop ready ready drop it ready One hell of a drop! It came out of the holster! Let's check it out! Unbelievable! The Fluke 28 Series 2 still hasn't cracked! Check it out, it does have a little, little gouge taken out of it there, but that's about the only damage. And you turn it on and the backlight, it still beeps and the backlight still actually works! Unbelievable! I don't think it smashed. I dropped it without the holster for more than 30 meters, 100 foot. Unbelievable. It just, it's like it hasn't cracked at all. Oh, hang on. It no longer beeps, but geez, I'm impressed, really. How the hell can I kill this thing? I don't know what to do!
indestructible. Okay, I've just opened it up after the big 30 meter or 100 foot drop. Everything is still intact. These things have gone upright again. There's a little bit of plastic uh, broken off. I'm not sure where that actually came from. The new inductor I sold it on there is sheared off again. So those inductors are an issue. And if you can see it, the board is actually um, warped and pushed in like that. But apart from that, it's in pretty darn good nick. The top of the case is not cracked at all. None of the internal um, blast shields, nothing. Unbelievable. So there you have it, the Fluke 28 Series 2 is almost indestructible, I can't believe it! It easily met a spec of 3 metres onto concrete and 1 metre under water for uh, half an hour. It easily meets double its spec with hardly a scratch on it. And then it survived a canyon trip, survived being frozen, it survived 6 metres drop, and then it glass finally broke at 12 metres, but it's only the glass! And then it survived 30 metres or greater than a 100 foot drop without the holster on the concrete. It survived being thrown and the case didn't crack. It survived being thrown out of a car at 60 kilometres an hour with not even a scratch. Unbelievable. I know everyone wants to see me smash this thing with a sledgehammer, but it just wants to live. It deserves to live. So I'm going to let it live. I'm going to give it two thumbs up and a big Fonz. Eee.